So am I. The way it was... It's very mysterious. The way I heard this game described was like a, uh... A papers, please, and a more whimsy, fantastical setting. But it also seems to just... Peeking at, like, the Steam store page, it also seems to have, uh... That sort of investigation elements to it. So, very curious. The premise is very fun and quite endearing. It's, uh, we have Lil up here, who is the, uh, the border guard, the guard's daughter, who's taken over and is now in charge of letting people in and interrogating and investigating and time to get up to some shenanigans, I think. So. Let's see what this is all about. And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head, but only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh, oh no pressure. God, you've made the wrong choice. Oh no. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? I, 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 I just, I just wanted chicken for dinner. Lil. What's wrong with that? Lil. What? Oh, Dad, I was, oh, I must have been having a nightmare. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Uh. Out of one nightmare and into another. Here we go. Sweetie. There comes a time in every young person's life. What, well, Dad? You don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Aw, <laughs> oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I, I want to throw rocks at things. I, the primal urge to throw rocks at things. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. <laughs> Gener the, the generational cycle of did he ever win goblin anything? ball. Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Come on, I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. All right. Okay, okay. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Let's do it. Tutorialize oh, me, Dad. Everyone loves a tutorial. No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Uh, okay. I guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. All right. Are you plain and boring? Oh, yes, you are. Ah, You're a kind good grandma. Good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. How oh, very good. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Seamish. Oh, Seamish. Hey, Lil Red. We are doing a... We... <laughs> Bingo. Yeah. It's Hamish. Hamish. 
What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. State your business. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? Oh. Lil puts it in her inventory. Oh, sweet. After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. Detain. You can select them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Detain. Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. My dad is going my dad is going gambling, so now I am in charge of the oh, guard I'm shack. I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Honestly. Oh, Shamish, no, please. Here. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is really gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. Th th what? Th that, that sounds lewd. <laughs> <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters. We gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. Shamish, tell the girl what to do. Yeah, Shamish. The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. <laughs> I love sweet old ladies. All right, I'd like any highlighted element to learn more about it. All right, pass this list. Didn't we cover this? That's your inventory bag where you keep the things people give you or that you confiscate from them. In other words, your sweet, sweet loot. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. All right. So what's this? The royal writ. Ooh, hello. This is the royal writ. The first thing you do when you start your shift is take a look. The Castle Guard Corp can achieve a good start at this point. There'll be a pizza party at the barracks. Oh! Strict one slice limit per guardsman. From the desk of Councilwoman Ash, there'll be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. Any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Congratulations to Guardsman Randy on 35 years at his post. Oh! After a six-month undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern for the elderly, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs in and out of the city. Not every old person is to be treated as a drug meal. Please be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparent. <laughs> the first Joker seems to seek person with funny name. If you call and pique my interest, there's a cash bonus in it for you. Malcolm. <laughs> Sweet Grammys and Grampies discovered we trafficking illegal drugs. What the shit? It's a lot of the information you'll need to do your job. Select the royal at any time. It won't cost you any action points. Very good. Let's do this back here. Tools. Our tools. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way, I have a well-rounded arsenal. What is, what Why is all this? Why do the other tools already have crystals in them? I carried them over from previous days. Any other questions? <laughs> with the granny, she, with the granny, she is, she's got drugs. Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? Is it, is it electric? No more questions. <laughs> okay, very good. X-ray, earth spray, decoder ring, metal detector. All right. Feeling phone. stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help, but all they'll really give you is their opinion. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? Oh, hey, oh, you're cute. Oh, I like you. Thank you. Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real mind for politics. <laughs> Lieutenant Stryker, hello, who's there? Wrong number, click. <laughs> this is Councilwoman Ash, hello? Hello, is somebody there? Wrong number. <laughs> and finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm. Chaos personified in human form. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake. Hmm. Each call costs an action point. Okay, very good. So... I already told you, selecting the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find out someone's true intentions. Sometimes. 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 
single Sometimes people using lie. Sometimes a tool will do the job better, or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know, you can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I care. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in, or send them packing. All right. Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn, but sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can, by any means necessary. Hmm. Sometimes? Yeah. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now, so just pick a damn lever already. It's like an hold to make a decision. What is this lever? I want to go back. Okay, fine. Since you forced me into this. Great job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. After my delivery, I'm off to watch the big game. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. Oh, the Snughorns. Oh, I love Here's that. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I better go. <laughs> Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. Oh, boy. More like I'm being forced to do this. I'm going to send everybody to jail. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Good luck with your illegal gambling. <laughs> I don't need luck. Believe me. I still think you're smuggling okay, drugs, Mrs. Abernathy. You got this. That's, a, that's a matter for another time. You nailed the tutorial. Good job. First Joker seeks person with funny name. All right. You worry about grannies. If anyone comes for a demonstration with the Mages Guild. Call Ash. State your purpose. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Oh, okay. Will you require anything further? Hmm. Let's talk to you. What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body, and my speech, therefore, would only serve to confuse and frighten you. Hmm. Doubt. I doubt that. I think I could figure it out. And many non-magical beings have attempted to learn the arts, and many of those have gone mad trying to even comprehend them. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I'm playing in character here, of course, of course I could figure it out. Let's call Councilman Ash. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Admit the mage, and my people will escort him to the venue. Very good. That makes things nice and simple. The House of Thanatos, and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. I'm doing my best. Very good. Read the writ and followed orders. Good little guardsman. Aren't we? Uh, hi. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from the no good, stingy, low life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating, low life of an ex husband, Orlando. Uh, His address mm. is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. 
I, oh, hello. Believe me, I would love to have him get off his jewelry butt and bring them to me for once. Interesting. Wait. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend Callie's week with them. Uh, all right. Hmm. And do you want to know what the kids say about her? They say she's fun. Fun. I'm sure the letter they wrote oh. was all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kid's writing is so lousy. Hmm. That letter was pretty much illegible. See what I mean? Horrible, horrible penmanship. I mean, let's see what this funky Dakota ring does. Take a close look at Denise's letter. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. Oh? It says, come son, mommy, Kelly is Nightmore. Does that make sense to you? Nightmore. Nightmare. Come save us. Oh my god. My boys don't know how to spell. Di but also that thing about Kelly being the worst. Hmm. What do we do about this? Press Joker seeks person with funny name. All right. Mean. I knew I never should have introduced them to each other. Kelly was my hairdresser. Was is the key word. Can I go get my kids now? People come and go. But no matter what, you'll always be those kids' mother. Sage life advice, though. You're right. I will be, no matter who that low-life jerk ex-husband Orlando dates. Thank you for saying that. Oh. All right. Come on in. What could go wrong? Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus, Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Good luck. What do we got here? Yeah, good use of the Dakota Ring Guardsman. Didn't judge a book by its cover. He knew not to stand in the way of Mama Bear and her cubs. Yeah. We were good guardsmen. Who's next? What? What in the bloody blazing blasted hell is the hold up? Why have we stopped, Welp? Well, sir, the guard. Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip. Welp. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. What? B.S.? Bank of the sprawl. Oh, we're definitely whipping this guy. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I interrogate you, I can't interrogate your friend. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be hearing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child! Oh, he shouldn't threaten to whip people. Actually, that reminds whip Lil of her toolkit. I don't think you're allowed to not tell me what your business is. Insolence! But, sir, it's only a deposit. Nope. One more Yeesh. outburst, and Yeesh. we'll be back in the cage with you. All right. You're getting the whip. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. The, the what? <laughs> you nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? Isn't that illegal? He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. Hmm. It's a form of slang he must have picked up from somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? 
I was trying to whip you, yes, sir, sir, not him. Whatever you say, sir. You're the one who I deserves to be whipped. Look at those gold bars. Oh, okay. Mine. I think I need to hold on to these. Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. <laughs> really? No, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Hmm. Okay, we got your gold. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let me pass. <laughs> Why does the old man look like Donald Duck a little bit? <laughs> Honestly, I see it. What else can we do here? Hmm. Also, hey, Doc, how's it going? We can truth spray him. We've confiscated the blood gold. Gold bars, cha-ching! One of Mrs. Abernathy's famous buttons. I wonder. I don't think we get anything out of metal detecting. Let's talk to you again. Would you like to see my tax returns too? Perhaps my bank statements? I'll be keeping my private affairs to myself, whippersnapper. Might be able to truth the serum, you. If you want to see what I'm taking to the bank, you'll have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. I mean, I probably could have x-rayed you. That's a little extreme. Isn't there a nicer, less fatal way for you to cooperate? Get a lawyer, you insolent puppet. Whew, all right then. Oh, this has got to be entertained. Get out. Probably could have let him in, but... It's the goblin's fault, isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. But sir, the gold! Silence! Mm. All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. You, fo you, you followed a blood gold trafficker on your first damn day! Legend! Heck yeah! Get out of here, you little whelp. The phone is ringing. Don't like old man duck. I agree. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? Oh, hello. You're lovely. This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Okay. And where exactly is... Oh, no. She hung up. The dig site. All right. Why, hello there. I have come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. Oh, hello there. After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the sprawl? Huh, <laughs> I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches. Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name. But that's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Oh. Yes! Capitalism, I hardly knew him. Oh, hmm. Huh. I mean, we don't really need that. It looks legit. Is that legit? Might be legit. He's right. Everything is in order. 
<laughs> All right. I just can't wait to get in the mix and figure out what kind of merchant this place really needs. Since I was a boy selling lemonade, when life literally gave me lemons, oh, no. I've dreamed of maximizing profits and keeping overhead low. You, you really think you're Cave Johnson, don't you? That sounds like a pretty messed up childhood. Says the unaccompanied child at the castle gate. Oh, okay, bet. <laughs> Touche. See, you get it. Once I've set up shops selling, well, whatever I decide to sell, I'll be sure to give you a discount. Oh. I look forward to buying... Uh, something. Yeah, something. All right. What we're gonna do... Nice try, kid. As a merchant on the road, I spent I the last few years building up a tolerance to the active ingredient in truth spray. Well, that's unexpected. You know what they say. Never go in against the Sicilian when death is on the line. Well. Inconceivable. When death is on the line. All right. I'm going to call Malcolm. Is your name funny enough? Garvey Bunches. Where have I heard that name before? That's anti-Italian discrimination. Minute, ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. Are you related to Garbanzo the Terrible? Yep. My great, 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 great grandpappy Garbanzo. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, okay. OMG, tell him I'm a huge fan. I've got so many questions. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? Uh, oh, what, what, what this kind of... This isn't helpful. You're not helpful. Okay, Sideshow Malcolm. I mean, uh, sure, come do a capitalism. Why not? I have no clue. I have no reason to say no. I accepted your documentation. Can you smell that? What? The trash barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. The smell only lingers for a couple of days. Not the reek of filth and decay. Smell That's of capitalism. The reek of opportunity. See you around. I'm, all right. Did we? Hmm. Who would know that a funny name would lead to con connecting Jester Malcolm to one of his historical heroes? Good job. Okay. Winning. Bells ring in the distance. No more folks. Time to close up shop. Wee. One score. Ah, oh, almost perfect. 3.8. Do your exceptional job performance. You were paid 30 gold for the shift. Yeah! Abernathy? Hmm. There's more I could have learned about you. Score view. Grumpkin T. Dankworth. Old grubby bunches. All right. Hey, I'm Garby bunches. Oh, okay. Let's see what's at the dig site. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, okay. We're in straight adventure mode now. Ammonia, hydrogen, iodine, all pretty basic stuff. Chains like this are a relatively new discovery in the sprawl. Lil notices the words Commander Keen among the in inscrutable technical jargon. That's a video game, right? Uh-huh. Uh, eh. See a small cot in a pile of clothes through the gap. It's Ruby Zelda for the hit game Zelda. Dr. B Beam asleep here. Hmm. There we go. This hole is so deep you can't see the bottom. They must have a really good ladder guy. <laughs> hey, maybe that's what Garby's here to sell, ladders. Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. 
Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. What? In the lost and found box? What? No, you called me. I'm Lil. We spoke on the phone. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Ah, uh, of course, Lil. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do. For the sake of time. Ha! <laughs> sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No. Yeah, me neither. Trust me, you will. I will? Okay. Who are you? Who are you again? That reminds me of Frisk. It's the, it's the sweater. Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological research at the Royal Academy. But you can call me B. Okay, B. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Would you like the long or short version? The frisk and puffy hair, yes. I got time. Give me with some of that sweet exposition, baby. <laughs> this place is known as the dig site. Frisk plus Steven Universe Fusion DPH. Oh no. Honestly, I get How I creative. feel it. I feel we it. stand at the site upon which power crystals were first discovered. Mm. The power crystals that I use for the tools in the guard shed? Those and every other technological marvel of our lifetimes. Mm. Tell me more. The power crystal was discovered completely by accident. 80 years ago, on this site, an iconic dwarven heavy metal band performed to celebrate the coronation of Princess Desdemona's grandfather, King Artemis. The, a dwarven heavy metal band? Oh, hell yeah. At the moment of a particularly rumpus drum solo, the vibrations opened up a chasm swallowing the entire stage and the musicians and a few dozen enthusiastic fans. Hardcore! Legend says the band emerged from the chasm adorned in the glowing magical rocks or what we know as power crystals today. That must have looked awesome! Guys, hardcore to the mega! Very awesome, but there's <laughs> more. Whether by fate or the actions of an inebriated mage, the bass player was struck by a lightning bolt, and the crystals in her cape and beard absorbed the electric discharge. <sighs> Everything that previously relied on magic within a five-mile radius lit up and was charged for weeks. Hardcore! Hardcore! <laughs> Very hardcore. A massive industry sprung up and developed the multitudes of ways we use power crystals, which ushered in an unprecedented era of prosperity for the sprawl, making our city-state the world power it is today. Gotcha. But what does this have to do with me? Hardcore to the mega! I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Alright. Okay, but again, what does this have to do with me? Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time! May I present the Chronometer 3000? Uh. And what I need to know from you is, do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Push the button? <laughs> yes, me! Oh, me! Me, me, me! I want to go on an adventure! Wonderful. But before you go off and start pushing buttons willy-nilly, let me explain how I came across this incredible new discovery. Or more exposition, as you might say. Oh, more exposition. All right, let's you go. See, by transmuting the crystal's more raw and ethereal properties and tethering it to a gnomish astrolab, they can produce temporal anomalies. Push the button. All right, let's we see how far this goes. By fashioning teeny tiny harnesses and attaching the crystals to mice and directing radio signals towards them. Teeny tiny <laughs> little little mice backpacks. It wants me to push the back the process, up. And found that we could send these mice back minutes, hours, even a full day with a less than 13% fatality rate. Oh, that's concerning. Just do it for the love of God, push the button. Blah, blah, microscope, blah, blah, live chicken, blah, 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 resonance chamber, blah. Okay, push the button. Whoa, 13% fatality rate, hell yeah. Whoa! That. Wait, what? Where am I? What just happened? The phone is ringing. 
Break out. Break out. I was just at the dig site. Now I'm back here somehow? Oh, quick pants check. No pee at least. Great. Keep freaking what out. What is she going on about? That device thingy? Oh my god. Why is it here with me? Did I just... Get the phone. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess, Beatrix Von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? God, there's a button that has a 13% fatality rate for pressing it. I would press it at least 13 times. Me too. Deja vu. Check this out. You were about to tell me you need a gate guard to come down to the dig site, right? My word, you gate guards are intuitive. I hope they're paying you a more than fair wage. They're they paying me shit. Are, the way my dad complains about it. Click. She hung up. Again. Huh. Wait. Why, hello there. I've come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. After years on the road as a... Let me stop you there. Your name is Grabby Blanchers, right? You're a traveling merchant or something? Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. It Got sure it. do, but a thing. Is Garby Bunches. This is so weird. I swear I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? You talking to me? That's what I'm trying to decide, Garbs. Regardless, Here's my vendor license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade for confirmation. Board of Trade. We we'll return it. He's right. Everything is in order. I need to get this guy processed and get my butt back to the dig site. Oh, okay. Slide you in. Die when you press the button, you, but you exist before you press the button. I remember you die, the lever. therefore no fatality. That's math, baby. Can you smell that? I think then you said something about opportunity. You got it. See you around. Smells like opportunity, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I need to get back to the dig site to figure out what just happened. Bonk. Let's rock. This, uh, this guy sounds like he's about to tell me to bang loose, baby. You're telling me, Fiery Redmond. Bada bing. Bada good night. Oh, Lil, from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? I do now. I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. My name is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological... Logical research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been it through this be before. Oh dear. I'd prefer if you called me B. And this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Freaking hey. out? Any questions? What? Are we... <laughs> is B asking the questions? Going crazy? Wait, why am I asking you questions? <laughs> For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Wait, where did it go? Do you mean this? My invention! How did you get that? You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. I pushed the button. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Naturally. Can you blame me? Yes, <laughs> but it is a good button. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. Oh, hell yeah. That risk becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. <laughs> The old, uh, we beat the 13% dice roll. So we're winning. 
At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype, and I need a willing gate guard to use the device. Hmm. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Right people? Right people. Individuals or groups that would improve the daily life of the inhabitants of the sprawl, rather than those who would see harm come to the community and castle. That's pretty much ruling a, at least a 4 and a d20, so okay. That's a pretty easy, a uh, easy roll to beat then. Isn't that subjective? Mm. Yes, well, I suppose it is, but recently the kingdom has seen a rise in rebellious factions, envious neighboring nations, not to mention the resentful mages guild since the power crystal has replaced most household magical applications. Oh, that's why the mages guild is protesting. One wrong choice could trigger a domino effect that could lead to the fall of the sprawl. Interesting. Why not so use it yourself? Time, you're giving me, a 12-year-old who worked exactly one day at the castle gate, the power to rewind time? Why not just use it yourself? I have been testing the device myself for months. In fact, I used it to repeat a month's worth of the same day and learn to play the oboe. Can I show you? <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, well, perhaps another time. My calculations suggest that no changes <laughs> I could make from my post at the Royal Academy would have nearly the impact on the sprawl that you gate guards do. Academia, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so I came to the conclusion that trying it out at the gate is a calculated risk worth taking. Honestly, yeah, this is good. <laughs> I think I get the idea, Dr. I love B. This. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly, and definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over again. Absolutely. You'd want that? Yes, lottery. With all that money, I could pay people to trip and fall over and over again. That's the spirit, though. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Uh, suspiciously specific, but all right. All right. Furthermore, by default, the device will automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. However, I've hacked it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Hack is the key word, though. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. I will summon you soon, and we will see what else you might be ready for. Thank you, Lil. The world thanks you. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. <laughs> try not to break. Try not to break space and time just to watch. Uh, I'm not kidding. Garvey bunches trip on his face. Uh, I'm not kidding. Maybe I should have mentioned hmm. I was only working the gate for one day. Oh well. It's getting pretty late. I should head home. All right. What's happened, to Dad? Oh, friendly. I'll see you in the VOD. Heck yeah. Hey, I want to talk to my friend. Your dad's over there. Yeah. All right, bet. I talk to you. You look cool. You look cool. I like you. I like you. I want to talk to you. I want to be your friend. We are in the Twisted Sisters. Barky has some massive arms. Correct. Listen, has it that this neon sign was made by a company that makes custom neon signs? Oh. They keep the good stuff. Arda will only open a bottle for people she knows will pay the tan. Ah, the real classics. You were this working when you were little. Pretty great collection of tunes. Your dad always says if you ever save enough money, you can chip in and get her fixed. It's ain't the nicest place in town, but there's always a warm fire going. Oh. Hey, hey, there she is, my hard-working angel-faced sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. 
You didn't win your gambling, did you? No, but it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet. So. All right. That what? What's the damage? That'll be fifteen gold for the ale. And now we don't have any left. <laughs> hey, Lil, did you take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? Got some blood gold. Ah. Uh, hmm. Do we profit off the gold bars? Uh, sorry, nothing today. Sorry, nothing today. Oh, rats. Rats? Again? I mean, we don't have rats, I swear. Mm, are you sure no, about that? Oh, not like that. Uh, oh, well. I'll go call my guy anyways. See if he'll front me the money to bet with. Oh, no. Wait, you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asking me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? What? Yes. And turn off the light? Yes, I did. Whatever. Just listen. Dad? You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. Oh, Dad. I remember to turn off the light. I think. Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Then she gave me the time machine to use when I worked the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so that was kind of a bummer. But it's super cool, and it only works for me. That's great, sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. Dad. Wait, no, that's not what's happening. I Anytime you want to be just like Daddy and work down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. Oh, Dad, thanks, Dad. You're not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. Dad, I can break. I can break space time right now. Hey, Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. Uh, oh, that's so sweet. I have the power to manipulate <laughs> time, and I demand <laughs> to be taken seriously. <laughs> I'm a lord of time. Okay, okay, I understand. I can see that Do you're serious. Do not disrespect me. Seriously adorable. But honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better <laughs> job than me anyways. <laughs> Great, love your confidence. Thanks, This Dad. isn't how I expected it to go. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the next game. Oh, it's boy. Late. You better get upstairs to bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. You got a gambling huh? Vengeful Lil. You'll rue the day you didn't believe in my powers of space and time. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> all we can see is how cute you are, sweets. Oh. As cute as her mother. Whatever. Good night, Dad. Good luck with your gambling. I don't need luck. Uh, yes, you do. Oh, Get to Lord. bed, Mill. I'll be up after the game's over. Oh. Okay, so we can move around normally. Oh, bye, Arda. Can I go behind the counter? No, I can't. Trap. Alright. I want to talk to you. That doesn't really have anywhere else to be. Can we get 15? It's not unusual. That's enough adventure for one day. I'm ready to hit the sack. And well, of course, one. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. On her way to the bar, Mrs. Abernathy accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing her to be late to make a big bet on the big goblin ball game. Her grandson's inheritance is safe. For now. Tyronius Athanatos gave his keynote speech at the festival of magical freedoms and inspired most of the crowd. The vibe between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more that night. He's indebted to Councilwoman Ash for her influence in facilitating his smooth admittance to the sprawl. Oh, so can we trust Councilwoman Ash? After Denise, after Denise picked up her kids, she moved them safely out of view, but not in earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. learned a handful of new words that day, but some they already knew. Grumpkin. Oh, heck, look at this game. Look, it's fun. Hello there, Lamb. 
This is in fact quite charming. I thank you again. Due to your cutting confiscation denying the old coot, Grumpkin T. Dankworth was unable to make his sizable deposit of illegal blood gold to BS! Bank of the Sprawl. Unfortunately, it happened on the same day as an unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned the bank to the ground! Mr. Dankworth pursued, refused to donate money to have it rebuilt. Wow. Well, they burned the bank to the ground. Honestly, probably for the best. Garby Bunches! Garby Bunches found a vacant plot of land in the alley between to hide the Twisted Sisters Tavern and set up his Emporium of Wonders. I like this guy. This Garby Bunches got something good going on. How, how was Ghost Trick? How was Ghost Trick? Did you make it to the end? Good morning! You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co-host, The Ham, who I will <laughs> remind you is a live pig. <laughs> Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines... It was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. No, I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the ham. Uh, but then again, the ham. neither did my ex-wife. <laughs> hey yo! Hey yo, multiple suitors making their way into the city expect backups and delays across all major routes this morning. Now let's get mm. to the music. Multiple You're listening suitors. to the morning crawl here in the sprawl with Dodger and the Ham. Oh yeah, you beat it. Glad your voice can take a small break now. Games of Duos for kill me. Oh, I feel that so much. I very much love when uh, I get uh, games with the uh, that are voiced. It, I liked it better. It takes a ton of load cluck, off. <laughs> but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. Dodger and the cluck. Oh boy. An angsty band for tweens and tweens at heart. One-eyed heart. The dragon is. I think I should find my dad. Good thing I always sleep in my clothes and I'm ready to go. I mean, uh, certainly a way of being. That's the official crest of the sprawl of the royal family. A note? Yeah. Dear Lil, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love, Dad. Oh, Panic Sugar Stretch, hello! Don't know how long this take, but I thought I'd tune for this a little bit, but it's up to YouTube for a good long while now to enjoy the content. Hey, thank you, thank you, and thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Hope you enjoy while you're here. That Secret Turnabout playthrough was a great watch. Well, that maybe he Secret Turnabout is a fun him one. Again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the Chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. All right, time to go to work. Time to probably go to work. Oh, and no. finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Hmm. Any questions? Many questions. Bonk. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground, oh fun! Actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. Oh! But I need my job for gambling. <laughs> I'll pretend Shamish. I didn't just hear that. Shamish, please. <laughs> you and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. You mean if we get more four star results, we'll make more money? I think the burn is our fault, it's some bull. Yeah, honestly. You're as quick as your father. Oops. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. All right. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other well, gate guards play for some about reason. these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. Randy. 
No, Randy. Not Randy. That guy's a riot. I love Randy. Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish uh, me luck. Oh. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. I oh, just new catapult. Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. Oh, or that's like you need to yeah, start doing sense. my job better. Just like you wanted to. Sound alert, are you okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to. Dad! What the fuck, man? <laughs> no, that's not exactly what I meant. You don't just get to leave me here while you go bet on goblin ball games. <laughs> no goblin ball money. match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty, and oh. they specifically reference that you need to cover for me again. They specific. Hmm. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Again, not what I meant. Oops. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. Fredo. <laughs> but he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. Hmm. Curious. Oh, Dad, you really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. Molly's dad for empathetic face. Oh. I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. Honestly, Remember, that, two stars that's are better that or we're out on our asses. No pressure. No pressure, Lil. All right. We're going to bank burn to the ground, so... Uh, hmm. Welcome. Rather than, reporting the, rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I think the jail cell is painted instead. Give me the call when the paint when the fellow gets here. Hmm. Two envoys vying for an alliance with the sprawl. Well, that's two envoys, not one, not three, but two. Four is right out. Take this opportunity for cultural exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. Duchess of Scarborough's award-winning feline companion, Sprankles! <laughs> Shall be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. Oh. Sprankles. <laughs> I, that sounds like a portmanteau of sprained ankles. As always, treat any non-human visitor, goblin, gnome, ogre, instead of with extra scrutiny. See if, if you see something, then say something. All right. Hmm. I have crystal wise. Hmm. Metal detector. I can whip you into submission. Need to keep my whip powered up. Like crystals, which means there's a chance of failure, most likely. Why not? What could go wrong? Uh, oh. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Just have my supplies here with me, nothing else to declare. Okay, very good. Let's talk to you. You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like Real job? Ooh, and I don't like you already. An artist? <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. Tease. Yeah, my mistake. Most artists I've met are hip and cool. You definitely are not hip and cool. Hmm. That's a dreadful thing to say. I would encourage you to think about how your words may affect people and choose them more carefully. Oh shit, sorry. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I'm being asked to paint. A note was left at my shop late last night. You can have a look if you like. Hmm. It, it, got some work for you to do. Come to the sprawl at half past two. There are two ways to paint your stuffs. One legit, the other in cuffs. Little girl will guide you away. So that you can earn your 
portion of official sprawl currency. Who is Patriot stuff when legit with red cuffs? Alright. Curious. Hmm. Mysterious letters are way more common these days, and I have a feeling I'm the little girl they're talking about. It's a Malcolm thing. I didn't want to say, but you are indeed a little girl. For my age, I'm not. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 12. I'm 1.3 centimeters above the average. Mm, you still seem pretty little. I'm small boned. Uh, I need to call Malcolm. Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Oh, heck yeah. What's that? Love some doom. Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo, after all. <laughs> oh. No, don't put the horse in the water, Malcolm, you fool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm out of a big splash. All right, well. Uh, come on in. Didn't know this was all voice acting. I'm pretty happy about this. Honestly, same. The voice acting's been pretty good, so many been pretty good. See, been really you good. Know, do you have a favorite color? Red, blue, green. Uh, blue, obviously. I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting blue in your honor. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you again. Thank you, Seamus Bagoblin. My favorite color is nope. <laughs> let him do, you let him in to do his job. What do you want, a parade? Hmm. Well, there's more we could do there. Oh dear, what are you? Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad. I don't like you. Oh, oh Prince God. Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk. Oh, my favorite pastry. Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen Talia, daughter of King Salvatore, son of Queen Ferabel, daughter of King Algernon, son of Queen mm. Rebecca, daughter of King Timothy, son of Queen Sasparilla, oh, daughter hey. of King Finbar. I love, of I love King, King Algernon. I heard, I heard he was a mean gardener. Son of Queen Turtledove, who was daughter of King Fangil, <laughs> son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son Rupert. of Queen Talia, daughter of King Salvatore, son of Queen Ferabel, daughter of King Algernon, son of okay, Queen we're Rebecca, looping. <laughs> daughter of King Timothy, son of Queen Sasparella, daughter of King Finbar. So your family tree is a circle. Son of Queen Anne, daughter of King Remus, son of Queen Turtledove. Your, your family tree is an infinite of loop. Fangil, son of Queen yeah, this is just, Amelia, this is just daughter looping. of King Rupert, son of Queen, who was daughter of King. Yeah, this is looping. Thank you. <laughs> That's wow. amazing. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, okay. We got a picture. All right. So, two envoys vying for alliance with the small Two envoys. Do, 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 do. And we feel like we're in sparkles. All right. Can I whip you? Don't let me have spite. <laughs> I could whip him. Alright. Prince Phineas himself would arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the Royal Sulphur Mines of Petrard. Oh, the Royal Sulphur Mines. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. That seems dangerous. Doubt. Won't that make a huge mess? Inevitably. But it is a tradition. A sticky, dangerous tradition. All right, bet. <laughs> okay, I have five uses. Petrard's pompous, preting, priggish Prince Phineas, price six dollars. Heck yeah! All right. Ah, 
I'd love to get this over with and go home. It was never my dream to run about listing some long-dead monarchs because that spoiled man-child, Prince Phineas, can you sport me a fiver pomp, can't get a girlfriend. <laughs> Why can't he get a girlfriend, you ask? Because he's never been faithful to a woman in his life. And he never will be, because he's a louse. A no-good, runabout louse. And I hate him. Oh, my. Where was I? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Prince Phineas Pomp wishes to engage in the holy hey, ritual me a fiver. marriage with yes. your princess. Yes, very much so. Hmm, all right, very good. An alliance between the great kingdom of Petrard and the Sprawl would benefit both sides mightily. Imagine the petrol and gunpowder our sulfur mines produce, combined with the mm. technological advancements that your power crystals provide, would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the world. We could create so much war mongering. Doubt. Has Princess Desdemona ever even met Prince Flinflon? <laughs> Phineas, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrarch, son of King Phineas that's and that's Queen that's Buttermilk, him. who is daughter him. of King... Oh god, stop. Please, stop! <laughs> Alright, uh... That's gonna be a no for me, dog. I was assured entry so I could announce the eventual <laughs> arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Ugh, fine, I will go. But there is a representative of the Marvog Empire hmm. behind me, Marvog. seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. If you won't let me in, you must not let in the Marvog delegate either. It's only fair. Bonk. Good night, a high-ranking visiting dignitary. He'll probably be working his way back in another gate, but you definitely... Okay, well, boo. Fen <laughs> Fenton Harcourt Mon... A fucking Star Trek reference. This dude, I swear to God. All right. Well... Five to five custom time travels available. I want to see what this next guy gives us before we rewind. Yeah, you have to let him in? I think we do. Good afternoon, child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I uh, have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. A hat? Uh, uh? Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. They do, yes. But they do not match the standards of my previous hat. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. I cannot go back. He, he, he looks so heartbroken. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough? I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. This sprawl is my last hope. Mm. And is pondering his existence after losing his hat. We could truth serum him. Rewind and truth serum him. This old hat of yours must have been something special. Oh, it was. It was the most fantastic hat you had ever seen. That is how mm. I acquired my name. Signor Capello Fantastico. Oh, Capello Fantastico. He's traumatized by his hatless existence. Hello, Manji. What does that mean? Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic hat. hat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's hell of a That's name. the worst name I've ever heard. It doesn't make sense without the hat. <laughs> that explains why he's, uh, yeah, all right. Your persistent inquisition has driven me to confess. The hat, she was too much. Too fantastic for one man to wear. I couldn't handle the pressure of adorning such a prestigious piece of headwear. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I threw it away. But what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. And now, 
I must find a new hat of equal, if not greater worth than my previous hat. This man is living a soap opera existence with his hat. I... Okay, I believe you. Only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic hat. Heavy is the head, as they say. Well, it's interesting. So we get different, uh... Okay, I believe you. Get in. I hope you find your hat, Mr. Fantastico. Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Wow! Has that guy got a fantastic new hat? I have no doubt in my mind. You enjoy your hat, good sir. Ah, he bears his soul to me. He made a second chance to find the headdress of his dreams. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. All right. He called Malcolm. There's more we could do to you. It's been one of our time travels to try and our first two guests again. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? I know. Let's see. You only have a limited, limited number of tinies per somnium, yes. You may laugh, but I'm sure that you're an artist at heart. Oh, for encouraging. I'll have to tell Mrs. McGoblin that. <laughs> She'll never believe she's been married to an artist all these years. <laughs> Let's call Malcolm. Well, it's about time he shot. What's that? Yes, I... Yeah, yeah, Malcolm. I don't really know if there's anything we can do to change this. If I'm being honest... You don't know who sent the letter? Honest. It was nailed to my door sometime <laughs> last night. I only found it this morning, and I hurried straight here. Curious dialogue interactions there. I mean, we're gonna let you in, but... I probably won't improve our score at all. We didn't insult him, though. Say. Many thanks. Blue. I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint. Well, thank you again. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll get the bare minimum score here, yeah. Let him do his job. Means there's something more we can do with him. I have to deal with this fool. Hear ye, hear. Okay, Harcourt. Prince Fit, who was daughter of... Son of Queen Anne, who was daughter of King Fangil. Son... Thank you. Wow, okay, I think I got... Boop. I still have my blood gold. Prince Phineas himself will arrive in the sprawl. The prince will be christened. Won't that make a huge mess? Inevitably. But it is a tradition. A sticky, dangerous tradition. Hmm. You whip you. <laughs> Just to see what happens. We know that he's a pretty shit. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Mm, that seems a little harsh. Oh, mercy. An alliance between the great imagine the petrol has Princess Desdemona Finney, please, and 
now, in celebration of the beginning of this new chapter oh, no. of prosperity oh, no. between the kingdoms of Petrad and the Sprawl, I shall play you an original composition of my own on the Petradian greeting bugle. Oh, this can only go badly. If music be the food of love, then you know what to do, and a two, and a three. Can we whip him now? That was terrible. You are really very bad at that. You simply don't appreciate the nuance of the Petradian greeting bugle. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I guess you gotta let him in. Wretched tune, badly. Fine, come on in. I'm just here to announce. Onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. If you refuse her entry, I will oh. give you much gold tonight. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. Interesting. Marvog. You made it, I didn't, yeah, we got our three stars here. Disappointing, but alas. That's my poor friend. Good afternoon, child. Why come all this way? They do. Bribing a 12 year old? I mean, we have already confiscated some blood gold. <laughs> Maybe you haven't looked hard. I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. <laughs> this old hat of yours, my. Oh, it was. What does that mean? Mr. Fanta. That's the. It doesn't. Is the Astotskin government going to ding us for turning him in, turning him away? This is Your BS. Your persistent inquisition has driven me to confess. Honestly, yeah, we. The hat. At the start I of this day, we have. Uh, I can only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic hat. I mean, we could probably tank it. Heavy is the head, as they say. If we get all three stars and everything else. Because if we score lower than two stars, we get fired. So, the Sproul government will ding us for it. I hope you find your hat, Mr. Fantastico. Thank you, child. I have no doubt in my mind. Yeah. I like Mr. I like Mr. Fantastico. We got four stars on him. Uh. I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. Praetor Cargan? The Praetor bid me say directly to the Princess, Egtag Maia Kora Una Guahatag. I agree completely. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the Princess with honor. Hail, Praetor Cargan! Kapla! Yes. I like you. You're in. No questions asked. I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your princess. I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect. I'm sorry, what? As is our custom. Uh. No, no, please. You keep it. But then how will you know I am worthy of delivering the words of the Praetor to your princess? I trust you. You know what? I'll take your word for it. Curious. Hmm. Very well. I mean, hmm. I'm getting a date for the next The Praetor is attending the ballet tonight. Upon its completion, Praetor Cargan will make for the sprawl. Oh, the so ballet the is coming here oh. later tonight? Not likely. In Marvog, the ballet can last days, weeks even. <laughs> it continues until only one dancer survives. So, uh, <laughs> holy shit. Ballet is one of the finest blood sports in the Marvog <laughs> Empire, and the bodies of fallen ballerinas are stacked high in the main square, as uh, is our custom. Uh, holy, all right. That's terrifying. 
I agree completely. Oh, dear God. Is there a prize for um winning the ballet? Indeed, there is. The winner is put directly into the line of succession to rule. Praetor Cargan was one of the finest ballerinas I have ever witnessed. Well. Slaughtered dozens of other would-be ballerinas with a grace and beauty that brought a tear to my eye. The tango is the most intimate duel of all time. I, I, that, that, that explains that uh, Honkai Star Rail uh, animated bit that was going around recently. Oh, oh right. Huh. Hmm. I'm thoroughly intimidated. You're in. I mean, uh, I kind of want to just just to see what happens. I'm feeling it won't work. What is that? Is it a poison mist? Perhaps an enemy weapon to put me in a state of ease before they pounce. Death is all around me, and I must be on guard for death. Nope, it's affecting you. At all times. I cannot sleep. I would be vulnerable to attack. I have not slept in many years, and whenever I close my eyes for a second, the ghosts of the warriors I have butchered fill my mind with dread message. Despair and die. What? What happened? Why am I still here? Is indeed Just to suffer? magic you wield, small gatebinder. Come on in. I'm enduring the horrors as we speak. <laughs> you have honor, little one, and shall always be a friend of the Marvag. And now, to fulfill my mission to speak the Praetor's words to the princess, Kapla! Hi, is she single? You, you, you might have you might have to uh, win a ballet to get a chance, Dark. Eh? Be very careful. A, a, a street, extremely well armed visiting dignitary. Smart. Means there's more we can do with her. Interesting. Blah. Whoa there, Lucy. Hello and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl. I am envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. Yeah, you're you're an envoy of yourself. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona, as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. All right. Hmm. If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. I don't trust you. Do you want to find a? Do you want to find a windmill? When word reached me that Princess Desdemona uh, was going possibly. to be entertaining potential suitors. I knew my days of jousting and dragon slaying were behind me. Oh, definitely. I saddled up my faithful steed, Lucy, and rode hard across the realm. For thrice three days we rode, stopping only to aid those in distress and relieve ourselves. And relieve ourselves. Nice. <laughs> that horse does indeed have seams. Now, we are here to exclaim our dearest devotion to the beautiful princess. The fairest flower in a whole field of fair flowers. Ah, uh, doubt. You really don't look like the dragon slaying type. That that horse has seems in the most terrifying way. Looks can be deceiving. By my eyes, you don't look like the castle guarding type. Okay, touche. I'm not. This is my dad's job. I'm filling in. You're proving my point. Can we admit the horse? Yes. Let let the horse compete for the uh, hand of the princess. So, two envoys. Not one, not three, but two. Four is right out. Alright, well. Can I whip you? I can't whip you! <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, there's someone in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is not what we signed up for, Beverly. Can we get our 10 bucks now? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be honest with you. I'm not the gallant Sir Beverly, knight of some minor renown. No, you don't say. I'm just an envoy to plain Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium, which is actually me. I've been watching the princess launch the ceremonial first slingshot at Goblin Ball matches for years now. Our eyes locked during one such slingshotting, and she smiled. 
Mm, right. My heart has been hers ever since that day. Also, I spent all my money on this costume, and I don't have any left to pay the horse. <laughs> this. We're out of here. <laughs> you better go too, Beverly. I understand. You are being controlled by powerful forces and simply following orders. But know this. Stalker, throw them out. There is no force more powerful than love. Oh, God. You have not seen the last of Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. On, Lucy. Shut up, Beverly. <laughs> we don't even have to deny them. But got the demon sword. He wasn't a real envoy. That definitely wasn't a real horse. Masterful deduction there, guardsman. Oh, gosh. Oh, hello. Hey, kid. Are you Lil? Who's asking? Show a bit of respect. If you see her, tell her I got a mysterious letter for her. Mysterious, you say? Fine. You've got me. Who's it from? I'm not authorized to know. Oh. That is mysterious. Whoa. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Are you a fellow guard? three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real <laughs> shame. Anyways, just take the note. I got to get back to work. All right. What do we got? That's Malcolm. We get 3,000? Wait a minute. What are you doing? I really got to catch up to my partner. What? <laughs> Did I hear those? <laughs> what do you think? Should we should we deny him? <laughs> what do you think? Should we deny him? Should we help him out? <laughs> Does he have to leave if we did a, if we jokingly deny him here? I <laughs> I want to do it. I really want to do it. I need to do it. <laughs> what do you mean I can't go back in? I came here to deliver your damn mail. It's going to take me hours to walk to the next gate. Ah, sh I think we pissed him off. Little girl, little girl stands at a gate, making choices I can't wait. You've got a taste of madness, and wish to circumvent great sadness. Come and meet me after dark. Together we make our stamp on the world. Nothing weird or creepy about that. <laughs> Where's that music coming from? What is happening? Oh god. Uh Good afternoon. Oh my god. I traveled from afar. A simple girl who wished upon a star. Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. <laughs> to my old life I sing au revoir. Why do you have blood on your apron? And you are? Oh my god. It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in. But so far, I'm not optimistic. Do you have any <laughs> idea or anything? I'm oh my god. Sure my heart is true. Must this be a whole to do? Inside these walls, <laughs> my destiny awaits. It just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move the plot along faster. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those eyes. Do you not trust those eyes? All right. I'm just so, so thrilled to finally be here in the sprawl. The people, the culture, the food, the hundreds of dark alleyways that could just swallow a person up. <laughs> ah, normal things. Find the curse. I feel the curse emanating from her. Deny. I have to what? Say I'm losing patience, Lil. You seem so innocent, but still, I have a hunger driving me to oh, no. everywhere we'll see. 
My dark destiny I will fulfill. Oh no. Well, that took a dark Ooh. turn. <laughs> oh yeah, she's got blood uh, on her arms. Yep, on her. <laughs> what are you up to, girl? You good? Okay, Lil. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. All right, tell me. Can you just tell me and not sing it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess that it's all so true. Why I ventured here to you is that I am a thief. Well, I, I... And also I should claim mm. that I likely bear the blame for forging checks and larceny, for smuggling drugs and piracy. Mm. Fires and causing grief. Oh, wow. So much grief. <laughs> oh my god. Just because you're singing it doesn't make any of that remotely okay. <laughs> we spent all that good stuff. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> what do you got on you, girl? Uh, what is that? What the fuck is that? What is that? <laughs> oh, that's just Fossy. What's a Fossy? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> she sounds so hinged. Oh, mine now. Mm -mm -mm. Friends shouldn't take things from one another. I guess we're not friends then. Uh oh. That makes me a little bit nervous for you, Lil. For me? Okay, I've had about enough of you. <laughs> Where's my detain lever? Where's my detain lever? I see now that you aren't my friend. My time here is about to end. You haven't seen the last of <laughs> me. You're the worst. <laughs> Chloe! Oh! You cracked the item to find a homicidal maniac and managed to take away her toy. Good job. <laughs> Get her out of here. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. Alright. I think we got above three. Yeah! I love how it accurately says she's a homicidal maniac. Yeah! 20 gold. Alright. Three stars is a uh, good score. Four star is superb deduction. Well, screen like this won't guide you toward a three star result, but the four is up to you. Alright. We admitted him, got our three stars. Signor Capello was easy. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this is so worth it. This is so good. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's continue on. Dungeon Seven, Room Four, Boulevard de Dolor. Is it is is that literally Boulevard of Pain? Alright. What's going on in the dungeon? It's literally a dungeon. Hell yeah. Every castle needs a creepy dungeon, right? That obviously. Idea for prisoners who only have one arm. Yeah. I 
Have you not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what this bucket is for. Room four. Knock, is knock. Is this the right place? It is. I mean, um, enter if you dare. Crap. Uh, oh, 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 that's... Mm. What is going on here? Oh. Oh, you dared. Hello. Welcome to my lair of chaos. That's all our advisors. It looks like a bedroom. It is his damn bedroom. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. <laughs> so, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? No. I'm not actually a real guardsman, little or otherwise. Then what are you? I'm an adventurer. Yeah. Wrong girl. Lieutenant Stryker, bag her up and erase her memory. Wait, no. no. Trust me, this is the one. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. I have hard with the night. Five of hard with the night, lady in the middle of the left. Yeah, yes. This is Stryker. What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. This is our boss. I see. Then you're free to go. Uh. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl. We have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. Hmm. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? Ma'am, I am 12. <laughs> uh, look at this lamp. Look at this lamp. Uh, back up, who are you? You can think of us as the real change makers here in the sprawl. Sure, there's the princess, but I think she's better suited to cutting ribbons and things like that. <laughs> yeah, he's got the Christmas story and lamp on his desk. Yes, La that's a hell of a fit you got going on here, lamp. Love that. Love that for you. This is, this is, this is, this right here is lamp after dark. When the fun stuff comes out. Oh yeah, it's sexy lamp cousin, yes. Lamp after hours. Hey, you want a major award? Yes. Very important. Major award. Put it in the window. <laughs> Careful. At any rate, I am Councilwoman <laughs> Ash, head politician and policymaker for the Sprawl. Lieutenant Stryker, head of military and law enforcement. I, I do like you. Head of military and law enforcement. Okay, heck yeah. I'm right. Malcolm. What do you do? I'm just here. Thank, yes. you, for the, thank you for the hydrate. A jester of the court. I, yeah, he's just here. I think they got that <laughs> from the hat. Basically, we're the ones who really make things happen around here. And I'm Malcolm. I, I, <laughs> yes, Ash and Stryker are the ones who make things happen here, and you're Malcolm. So it would be wise for you to do as we say. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. Ma'am, I'm 12. Damn it. You've got us there. <laughs> but how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball, and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? Do I even have a choice? Yes. You choose which hand. Bah. All Not right. the brightest one, is she? Striker. His right hand. Pick his right hand. You can't go wrong when you pick right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for your advice. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. I trust you. Nope. Bollocks. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> the, cha the Chaos Goblin answer is the foot. Dang it. I trusted you, Striker. That... But you said it would be in your hand. And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? You lost fair and square. But... Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable of finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. I can't believe lesbians would lead me wrong. But... That concludes this briefing. 
we suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. I, I, I love my butch lesbian advisor, my femme lesbian advisor, and my chaos gremlin pet jester Malcolm. It's called being an adult. I'm 12. Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Why did you turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. She wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. <laughs> I should have brought another drink. <laughs> ma ma mal Malcolm going for the drill exit. I said, so long, sucker, as I say, I throw my flashbang. Uh, the dust clears, I'm lying on the ground dead. They say nothing, as if they're no longer there. Except they are. Can I examine the lamp? Can I examine the lamp? Should call it night. Have fun, have fun y'all. See ya, dark. Thanks for hanging out. We had a bit of fun. We caught a, uh... An arsonist. I want to examine the lamp. Alright. Well, we've been kicked out. The adults can go back to, uh... Break the lamp so it's really dark. Honestly. So, Dad, what you up to? Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? Make that two, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. Can it at least be cold? Cold that milk? That depends. How did work go today? Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Ah, oh, yes. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? Absolutely. After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. <laughs> hey, Arda. There's someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy Blinkers, Gerby Bonbons. Oh, Gerby Burby. Anyways, it's just through that door over there. Gorby Borby. Garcy, oh my god. Hat. At the hat. Oh, I'm not gonna get my money from you. Maybe one day you can cover for me here at the bar. <laughs> where's where's my uh that Malcolm medieval Valhalla sequel? He pays well, and with you working the guard shed, I'm pulling in two salaries. Your milk is on me. Using my daughter to bring in more household income. Oh, I can talk to you hey, now. Hey, we have extra of the daily special today: eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? No, we're not gonna take it. We're not gonna hey, take we it. Have extra of the daily special today: eggs and oil and lemon. No, we're. I finally got to talk to you. I've been wanting to talk to you this whole time. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. Oh. My journey, it continues. Not gonna be so sad. Eggs with oil and lemon. That is curious. It's broken. If you can find someone to fix it, be my guest. Hmm. I don't want to talk to you, but we'll talk to you. Aha! There she is, the brilliant little half pint running We're not going to take it. No, we're not going to take it. We're not going to take it anymore. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. I'll let them in. No, I totally let them in. What? Why? I thought we had a deal. You never said we had a deal. No, you thought you could bribe a guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl, which is a very serious offense. Shake him down. <laughs> All right, Please warn forgive you. me, incorruptible and honest steward of the kingdom. I beg you, forgive. All right, stop groveling. Now don't let me catch you around here again, you hear? I hear. I hear. You are truly worthy and filled with honesty from the core. Oh, and yes. And uh, trust within us that permeates. Stop talking. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> you are truly worthy and filled... Thank you. 
Goodbye. This hat. All right. Let's go talk to Garby Bar Garby Barbie. Garby Barbie. Garby Herbie. Uh, there he is. Lil, you came. Oh my god, that's an amazing sign. Did you pawn that shield? Welcome to Garby Bunches and Forium of Wonder. You're my very first customer. Be supportive. I was actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. So Not I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling guardsman tool power-ups. Power-ups? If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap all roll right. the dice and see what happens kind. As well as power-ups for all of your tools. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Here! Take a look. Truth spray. Power crystal slow. Ooh. Hmm. Have some blood gold, Garby. <laughs> hmm. I need to. I need more whip. <laughs> We're gonna hang on to that. Very good. Back for more. Feast your eyes. All right. Very cool. Let's see here. <laughs> What's his name? Lee boy. Leroy. Did he fucking pawn his dolphin shield off? I don't see his lance anywhere. He's like, he's like he nice little uh oh panel that cannot be safe bill could fall into the sewers if she could walk to that part of the screen <laughs> oh a smell is coming out of that dumpster indescribable all right can we buy you a better hat? Hey, we have extra. No, we're not. That Malcolm is a madman. But... All right, get my milk. Maybe one day you can cover for me here at the bar. Bartending minigame win. I don't really have anywhere to be. All right. I think I've done everything I need to do, but are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Who are you talking to? Quiet, you. That. Hit the hay. Hay has been hit. <laughs> Seamus McGoblin did a commendable job hitting the dungeon walls. Although humble, he really is quite skilled. Never let a drop hit the floor, and he did all the edges without using tape. Really high quality work. Bottom much needed breath of life into the room where some people wait for execution. Seamus went home with his hard earned paycheck in one hand and a bouquet of flowers for his wife in the other. He put his six goblin children to bed, swept his wife off her feet, and took her to their room. Their seventh child, Becky McGoblin, is due sometime in the spring. Very good. Fucking. Okay, very good. He did, he did himself. Uh... A, uh, he, uh, really, he really sharded it in front of the court. The, pat the Patrodian envoy presented himself at court, which began okay until of sheer politeness, Princess Desdemona acknowledged his bugle and proceeded to toot his own horn, which rapidly diminished the favor he had just carried with them, and all in attendance left with a bad taste in their mouths and a ringing in their ears. 
that night flying in his bed the cham- in the chambers provided for visiting dignitaries, he felt vexed that the lonely guards would have refused his generous offer for a bribe. The nerve of some people. Huh. Signor Capello Fantastico entered the sprawl and began his quest for the perfect hat. He ventured to every store that sold headgear of the sprawl. Henry's hat, Salinas leads, Homer's haberdashery, the, the chapeau shack, Meinstrom millinery, <laughs> hats, 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 all caps, and even Yiddle's yam, Yiddle's yamaka yurt. But none of them had the type of hat he was searching for. But assured, Signor Capello Fantastico would not forget until the top of his head is restored to its former glory. I love this man. Okay. Oh no. Drilling Praetor Cargan's message to the princess, the Marvel Envoy walked past the National Ballet of the Sprawl's Repertoire, Repertoire Company, rehearsing in the park. Think the ballerinas of the Sprawl were doing things completely wrong? The. the. uh. uh. oh. Hmm. <laughs> the Marvel Envoy decided to join in to teach them a thing or two. Now the Sprawl's ballerinas are experts in first position and first degree murder. Since the envoy was distracted, the Praetor never got word if the princess received their message, but don't worry, they'll show up anyway. Oh boy. Tonight entry, the fake Sir Beverly took off his fake armor, got back on his fake horse, and went home to his real hut, where he lived with his very real mother and wallowed in his very real depression. <laughs> you sad son. Chloe encountered a guard patrol outside the city gates and attempted to, pick, attempted to pickpocket them quietly, which she didn't do successfully on account of all the singing. In jail, it only took her five minutes to be sent to solitary confinement. <laughs> oh boy. It's news in the morning with me, your news anchor, Manuel oh, Mentiroso. Breaking news. Oh. And well meant to do so. The chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. All right. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. And attitudes. Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away at the age of 43. What? A representative from the Small Rodents and Budget Coalition shared their condolences, then immediately scampered around without reserve. Small Rodents and Budget Corp. <laughs> the Sprawl will be host to a Goblin Ball match today between our Sprawl Brawlers and the opposing Kaladar Lightning at the Goblin Ball Arena. All right. Breaking news. That was my last piece of breaking news. Oh. Keep tuning in for all your Sprawl news updates. We now return to our regularly scheduled radio silence. <laughs> Okay, very good. Time to get up. Breaking news? My butt. Oh, burn Lamau. Got him. Get one, Lil. Oh, look, another note. Lil, I'm off running an errand for Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently, she needs me to, she needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. They really shouldn't have competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the Goblin Ball Arena and pay a bet of 30 gold for me after work. There's an extra five or just for you. You didn't Boy. tell me which team to bet on, but my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. <laughs> oh, so we can win money by actually betting against the home team? Alright. Agenda. Crown Prince, Phine Prince Phineas of Petrard and Praetor Cargan of the Marvog Empire. Lord your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. Face the Goblin Ball Tri Goblin Cup semi-final between our beloved Small Brothers and the Calador Lightning. The Bastards. Ash. <laughs> there has been a BS report! Thank you, the Sprawl, regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. Under the guard force, city officials are forbidden to participate in grey market sports betting. Hmm. Trust no one. Deploy the truth spray. If, deploy the truth spray if necessary. So smuggling is happening. All right, deploy. Deploy. 
All right, how many we got today? We're gonna do this day and then leave it to yes, me. Yes, it is I, little one, heir to the throne of Petrarch, here before you in the flesh. Oh boy, I hate you already. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. Genuflect. For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the people. No better even than you, tiny gatekeeper. Genuflect. God, that brings back memories. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Worth a shot. You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal sulfur mine Neil. were a complete <laughs> success. God, that doing that that brings me back to uh hang on a second. I remember what it's called. Wish I could whip everyone. Only four deaths. <gasps> Just far fewer than the last. <laughs> Only four deaths. Alright. Hang on, sorry. What was that game called? Oh, it was OMG WTF OTL. Odious manly, manly genuflection with terrible fury, only true lamentation. It's... <laughs> yes. No matter, we look forward in Petrarch. No sense crying over spilt. Um, well, there, there it is. There it is, okay. Jeez, four dead? At an opening ceremony? Yes, tragic. Avoidable, but still tragic. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm Luckily, willing to make. it wasn't anyone important. A few um, unskilled laborers oh. and one server. Could have been much, much worse. Oh, I hate you. Now can I whip you? Ha <laughs> yeah, no. Hmm, I've heard tell that the barbaric warmonger Praetor Kargan is my chief rival for the hand of your fair princess. Yeah, defeat her in single combat and, uh... <sighs> Can't even find decent competition these days. The Marvog are a loathsome bunch of butchers, killing each other over the tiniest infractions. Bump into someone in the checkout line? Trial by combat. Accidentally sneeze on a sacred heirloom? Trial by combat. <laughs> Worst vacation of my life. Oh, well. Hmm. I wouldn't take the Marvog lightly if I were you. They are a proud warrior race who defend their <laughs> honor with their lives. Some people might find that kind of sexy. Ha! <laughs> ah, that is nothing compared to a handsome carriage ride around the sulfur depots in the Petrarchian High Court. That sounds... pungent. Hmm, indeed it is. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I guess I shouldn't delay you any longer. Oh, for goodness sake, let's get... Do I really need to announce myself all over again? What the devil is... Who do you think you are, peasant, to hold up the likes of me? I am off to marry, and in doing so, create the most powerful union this world has ever known. The sooner you realize your place, the better. <laughs> Look, your royal highness, this is for your own protection. Think about it. If I'm lax on letting you in, who knows what oh kind of God. people I might accidentally let in and the danger they might pose. You found the OMG WTF OTL playthrough. All it takes is one disgruntled worker and BOOM! Maybe the next bottle of Petrardian Fizzy is coming for you. Good lord, you're right. I'm sorry. Please keep up the good work. Hey, made a good fact, argument. Take this. I brought oh. this bottle as a gift for the princess, you know. Something to break the ice. <laughs> uh, but consider it a thanks for all the great work. We've been bribed, but hey. You know what? Alright. You're in. Shoot your shot. This pays good, yeah. Got some and nice boots. It is off to face the princess oh. and destiny. Oh, I can buy fiver. Before I go, can you spot <laughs> me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other place. Oh pants. my god.
No. Hmm. Is it that you don't have the money, or that you don't want to lend it to me? Don't have it. They pay me like shit. Not terribly surprising. Lower class working type. Besides, look at this dump. I'm amazed you even have enough power to keep Get out of here before I whip on. you. Never mind. I'll find someone a bit more well healed to help me. Get out of here before I whip you. Ah. <laughs> ah. In addition to admitting the prince, you, a 12 year old girl, confiscated an extremely high quality bottle of Petronian Fizzy. Oh, right. We stole his booze. We'll have to take solace in that. Oh, hello. Good day. I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. Hmm. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Curious? I was hired to come along with the convoy in case anything broke down on the way, in case repairs were needed on any of the equipment or transport. The prince doesn't exactly travel light. Three carriages of wardrobe changes alone. Mm. To be honest, I don't get to the sprawl often. Too many mages around these parts for my liking. Doubt. You don't care for mages, eh? Oh, that's a different Most term. Most Petrardians share the attitude mm. that you should be able to explain the hows, whys, and wherefores of the world. Mages and their ilk don't subscribe to such thinking. Oh no, science versus magic. That's not the direction I expected that to take, but... I just want to have a look inside your, uh... Thing of Bobber there. What? Is that a thing? That toolkit was handed down to me by my great aunt Gildy. One of the finest restorers of beauty this world has ever known. A kit like this in the right hands, and there's nothing you can't do. Hmm. Do we trust him? Can't see inside. Got a... I'm not fixing to fix anything tonight. <laughs> Get it? Fixing? Anyway, I'll pick those up when I come by tomorrow on my way home. Alright. We can handle that. Eh, it might be okay. A dwarven toolbox, which isn't actually different from a human or elven one. <laughs> but that pun. <laughs> It's only Petrardian Fizzy if it's from the Fizzington region of Petrard. Otherwise, it's just an extremely carbonated bottle of booze. That's a champagne pun, isn't it? That is a gross pun. If I could have afforded to stay home, I would have. But they made me an offer I couldn't refuse, so to speak. Was it a threat? A horse's head in <laughs> your bed? <laughs> nope, just a big heaping pile of money. The king and queen are desperate for the prince to secure the hand of Princess Desdemona. The future prosperity of Petrard depends on it. To be frank, the whole kingdom is ah. broke. This is their only chance to marry rich. That tracks with everything we've known I guess so far. That explains the big deal everyone's making out of this whole let's marry the princess off thing. Shouldn't she have some kind of say in the matter? Now that is something seriously worth considering. Bad put aside, you seem alright. Honestly. Did I do diligence? Making sure you're not smuggling anything in your toolkit. We're not gonna sell I it. Thank you for this respite for the evening. I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. Hmm. That gets me a choice. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. Hmm. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. Hey. Huh. All right. Here I, was, here I was trying to be a bit of a... We'll redo that.
Good day. I'm not staying. I was hired to come along. The prince does. You don't care for me. Mm, I take the direction. Me we'll spend this. That toolkit was. I'll return to you. I think you'd know what to do with these better than I would. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I just realized he's got a toolkit. He can fix the jukebox. I appreciate it. Especially coming from a fellow tool enthusiast. If we. If tool we, enthusiast? If we, directed, if we direct him to the Twisted Sister, he can you fix. You got your own awesome toolkit there, and I bet you love using it as much as I do mine. He'd, uh. He can fix the, uh, jukebox. Tell you what, if there's anything you need fixing, I'd be happy to take a look for you. As a matter of fact, the jukebox at the Twisted yeah. Sisters Tavern has been on the Fritz for ages now. All right. Oddly enough, fixing Fritzy jukeboxes is my specialty. I'll go there straight away and you'll be boogieing before you can sing a chorus of Hey Nani Nani. I don't understand what any of that meant, but great. Heck yeah. If I could have afforded to... Was it a... Nope. The future. I guess that explains. Shouldn't. All right. Come on in. I thank you for this respite for the evening. I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. That's a nice touch. By the way, do you? Hey, you already told you that. My kind of a. Now. What does that get me? Boom, alright. You two enthusiasts need to stick together. Alright. Sprinkles! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> A small group of black clad folk approached the shed, weeping and moaning. <laughs> oh, boo hoo hoo. Oh, hoo 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 hoo. Oh, Sprinkles. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I don't trust you people for a second. We are returning from the funeral services for... Sprinkles. Not Sprinkles. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> the service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the, um, remains are being interred at St. Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery here in the Sprawl. Not the pet cemetery. Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at St. Euphigenia's. <laughs> Why is Sprinkles? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Why is you know who being laid to rest here? We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. What exactly is a duchy? Please tell it me. It is a parcel of land under the power right, of a sense. duke or duchess. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by Her Grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Do you have a regular Scarborough affair, so to speak? Present. And it oh, is you're a the far duchess? nicer duchy than some. For instance, the Duchy of Caladar. Oh, Caladar! What a dump! <laughs> Just randomly studi. I only went to the funeral because Montes was catering. I always hated that damn cat. Sprinkles! Oh. I'm sad. <laughs> what? I've just got to keep quiet, get the cat past customs, and then drop the illegal contract. Oh, oh, the oh, there's your sneaky my bugger. And be set. There you are, you sneaky my bugger. My eulogy was very rambly and very poorly received. You did your best. Wait, what? Hang on. What did you just say? I'll admit it. I hated the cat. Oh, now the no, teeth comes you. out. You, mourner guy. I Bundy. confess, I've been holding this inside for too long. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding the ball in his foot. Who does 
just that. Only the bald is what? Falcom. I plead guilty, Your Honor, on the grounds of I did it. I'm not a judge, you know. Oh. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Okay, well. Man. All right, have fun burying your cat. We shall. <laughs> we shall. Sprinkles will be so happy at St. Euvaginias. I just know it. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Sprinkles <laughs> thanks you. Sprinkles thanks you, everybody. Oh, good. Good, very good. Sprinkles. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> And that's how you truth spray your way to success. Yeah. We make a great yeah. Uh, mm. Huh, there's more we could have done there. What else could we have done? Let's rewind. I have four left. I'm going to find perfect score. Just mainly me being curious here. Oh. oh, boo. Oh. Weep. Weep, weep, weep. We are returning from oh. the service. Sprinkle. I'm so sorry for your loss. We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. What exact? All right, we've seen this. And it is a. We got against Kaladar, honestly. Were all of you, um, friends of Sprankles, the cat? Well, you know. Friend is a strong word. Acquaintance more like. Sprankles was loved by the entire Duchy of Scarborough. All of my loyal serfs were ever so fond of her. Oh, Sprankles. We heard her delight when she was scratched. The dignity with which she covered her litter. A thoroughbred in every sense of the word. Oh, a thoroughbred. Yes, what she said. I'm getting the sense not everyone here was as attached to Sprankles as you are. Nonsense, beloved by one and all. Yeah, I couldn't get enough of Sprinkles. Sus. Sprankles. Yeah, that's what I meant. The cat that's in the casket with the nothing in it. Mmm. The nothing in it, eh? I wonder if I hadn't spent my x ray earlier. Could have x rayed the casket now. I only went to the. Ah. I I'm just sad. To keep quiet. Get the cat past custom. My eulogy was. Wait, what? Hang on. No, not. I. I was approached. I plead. I'm. Um, oh. But I'll leave it to the court. All right. I didn't really change anything, but. We'll take our three stars All right. then. Have fun burying your cat. We shall. Sprankles will be so happy at St. Euvaginias. I oh. Hmm. And that's... I mean, there's still more we can get out of that conversation. Interesting. That's a... <laughs> uh. Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago, and the game is about to start. We all good? And you are... You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. Oh my god. If we deny you and then bet on the home team? Right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us the game! Oh boy. Come on, the big Goblin Ball game starts in 30 minutes! My stupid personal driver had to take a detour to get here. 
What more do you want me to say? Hey, you know what I mean, eh? Is it really your personal driver's fault, or is it that you have a hard time dealing with pressure? Yeah. You sound just like my psychiatrist. Personal driver? Psychiatrist? Huh. Is there anything you don't have? I mean, a star sports ball player. I don't have time to talk to you all day. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what happens if we call Ash. I heard she was running late for the game. Something about an unfortunate detour at the last minute. Such a shame. Because if a team doesn't win today, then I won't have to owe the mayor of Canada <laughs> five barrels of fine sprawly and mulled wine. Do me a favor. Keep her busy until the game is over, will you? Well, all right then. I will do you a favor. <laughs> Can we move this along? I'm the starting thrower and the team needs me to wipe the floor with those pathetic sprawl brawlers. They're such a horrible team. I bet we could win even without my lucky second sweatband. It, second sweatband? What lucky second sweatband? This lucky second sweatband. Mine. <laughs> hey, you can't take that. I needed to win the big game today. I what happens to next? It. It's evidence. Evidence? What are you talking about? Evidence that... You don't need some lousy sweatband to win a game. You just need to believe in yourself. Thank you, Sound Alerts, for sending that message like 10 years late. Huh. I never thought about it like that before. Yeah, the sweatband. Belonging to the star thrower of the Caledar Lightning, Sarah no Goodfoot. This will fetch a high price for that particular type of buyer. Alright, very good. Hmm. <laughs> You can't be serious! You're actually not gonna let me in? This is some stupid plan to get your team to win? Cause that is low, little girl. Whatever. Maybe I can try to make it to another gate before the game starts. They don't call me the fastest arm in the game because I run slow. Yeah, girl. Wait, what? I... Jeez down on all fours and, uh... <laughs> okay, so we can't get more than four stars. Fair enough. Although she had a very legitimate reason for, uh, entering the sprawl, you sent her back in. Maybe the sprawl brawlers have a chance to win tonight's game after all. Oh, hello. Greetings. I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. I, I did, she yeah. She would have come by this gate to announce my arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Quapla. Quapla? Right, hang on. That's not. That's not you. Why do you pester me with questions? I am a very important royal figure, and I must mm. enter your city to meet your princess and marry her. Now let me be gone, child. Quack. Crack that. Doubt. Just a few more routine procedures. You understand. Please hurry. I do not like to be kept waiting. Well, girl, you must beat me in tribal combat. Ah, ouch. <clears throat> I do not fear the dainty <laughs> crack of a whip. If I was afraid of whips, I'd have never made it in the tangle. You mean ballet, right? Of course. Don't you think I remember what form of dance almost killed me? Listen, listen lady, I respect the hustle. What else can we do for you? I already used this tool. Okay. Your envoy said you had a message for the princess. What was that message again? My message? Oh. It's Iki Bok Choi Flanagan Mok Tok. It means together we shall be married. Uh, hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Quaplorm. <laughs> How long did it take you to learn a second language? Not that long. It wasn't hard to learn Marvagian. 
I mean, this language <laughs> we're currently speaking. Hmm. Yeah, no, you're not the guy. But I am the prattler. The phone is ringing. What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear? Did I? Not the real Praetor Kargan. You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Quaplort and goodbye. You saw through the old fake prayer to routine from a mile away. Who does she think she? Who does she think you are? Someone who can't see through the old fake prayer to routine? Ah, amateur. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That time for the real prayer to? Oh, you're the real prayer to. Oh, Little warrior, mama. I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? You mean Kapla? That's the one. Yeah. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Just for the heck of it, gonna call Ash. According to my sources, the Praetor's carriage still hasn't passed the Swampland outpost. The Marthog are always so caught up in battle and war, I wouldn't put it past them to have sent a decoy carriage in case they got attacked. It's very difficult to tell what the Marvog are up to. You have to use your own hmm. judgment on this one. Oh, you're not even going to apologize for the whole fake Praetor last time? I mean, we'll talk to you. I have just arrived from the ballet, and it was a long and brutal affair. Indeed, the smell of the ballet is still fresh in my nostrils. Hardcore. A fine successor has been chosen in that glorious trial by combat. Mayala will make a fine Praetor when I finally fall in battle. Oh, our, our girl, the... Uh... Oh. I'm sure that Mayala will do your people proud as future Praetor. Kapla? Well said, little warrior. Perhaps one day I will see you at the ballet. Uh -uh. To be honest, that makes me want to throw up. You would not be the first nor last to spill your guts at the ballet. <laughs> Respectable. All right. I'll talk to you one more time. As I approached the border of the sprawl, I picked up on the tracks of a Petrardian convoy. Oh. Unless I am very much mistaken, that was the convoy of Prince Phineas Pomp, who I have heard rumors is also laying claim to the hand of Princess Desdemona. Where's it? Where's his distant? Where's his distant cousin? Uh, for circumstance. Weakling. He refuses to fight for her honor, and instead we must talk and negotiate. Why talk when you could dance? I agree. Whoa, I agree that's completely. That's a pretty impressive tracking skill. I let Prince Phineas in through this very gate earlier this shift. You are a Petrardian sympathizer? Oh no! I'm just a substitute guardsman here. I'm Switzerland, baby. <laughs> what is Switzerland? Child. You're coming in. What could go wrong? And thus I truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. Heck yeah. You, little warrior, will have a footnote in history for this encounter. For victory. For Marvog. Kapla! Kapla? Heck yeah. Hmm. I do want to at least. I didn't get the. I have three times left. I'm just gonna try this one more time. The hell of it. Little warrior, I. Let me pass. This seems more legit. You mean Kapla? That's the one. I would hope that my stunning work. I mean, it is, but. Do 
We could just let her in. That's good enough for me. And thus I truly... You. That probably just gonna give me that three stars, but... Oh, okay. Heck yeah, all right. After the imposter was very clear this visiting dignitary was on the level. Exemplary job granting them immediate entry. No one could accuse you of unnecessarily delaying anyone. Hell yeah. We're the best little guardsmen. Got above three stars. Ooh. 3.83. Prince Phineas. In addition to bidding the prince, you, a 12 year old girl. Yep, got his Petrarchian busy. Got a uh, tinker. It did a sting. Hmm. Curious what we would have been missing here. So, in a good foot? Get better the brawlers. Praetor Kargan. And Praetor Kargan. Alright. Very curious. Well, Dad asked us, asked us to put a bed. Thanks, he's got another hat. Sprawl Brawlers. Hello. Thank you for coming to my booth today. I'm here taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. Oh. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? It's a little on the nose. The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title. And you don't get pizzazz without taking polls. Or, or polls Pizzazz, as I call it. Care to give your opinion? Sure. What's our, what's our really choices? Gotta be Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Bowl? Uh, I don't know. Perfect. And the stadium, you would say it's a... Uh... Bitch with chairs. Excellent. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... As washrooms. Okay, that is super. Your input will be tallied with the <laughs> others. Thank you very much for your time today. Heck yeah. Popcorn. Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, illegal gambling, commemorative fun yeah. fingers. You there. What can I get for you today? Did you say illegal gambling? I am here to do an illegal gambling, sir. I sure did. You interested? I'm 12. <laughs> hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? You want to bet on who's going to win the big game? I can't be any worse at this than my dad, so sure, why not? Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which mm. one do you want to hear about? Brawl Brawlers. The home team hasn't been doing too well at home lately. A lot of people are still angry at him after that game with the foul and the points got reinstated. Oh, yeah. They're more of an away team, but they're a shoe in to win today. If the other team didn't have that ringer Saruna Goodfoot playing for them, you sure you want to bet on them? Hmm. Tell me about yeah, the teams. You kill it, our lightning. Eh, they're not the best team in the game, but they got a real ring of playing for them. We here are the team. We the home team. We kicked her out. So, all right, we'll bet on them. She'll look in the gamble. Is it put thirty on it? So, yeah. All right, kid. Your bet is in. Good luck. Let's hope we don't get fired for illegal gambling. <laughs> Sorry, kid. You're back. All right. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. <laughs> my journey, it continues. Your hat needs to be taller. Let's be real. I can't leave without watching the game. All right, we'll watch the game. Sports Let's ball. Let's watch some goblin ball. How's this even gonna work? 
Hatchda, one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with a rare capture of the Golden Mongoose. This oh no, not the Golden Mongoose. Game. What is but going on there? Canada, star player Saruna Goodfoot, the sprawl brawlers are looking good. Jorbala Pepstein has taken possession of the wagon wheel and she hurls it and it's passed through the flaming gates. Is that a golf? Is that a golf That's hole? That's the game, folks. A stunning victory for the hometown heroes and you better believe the Calada Lightning are wondering where the hell their star player Saruna was today. What a great day of That's a spike ball, pit. folks. That's a fucking target. And, and a golf hole. Interesting. Lucky guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Oh, you're... Oh. Well, well, Fredo. The game's over. I should... Come back next time. Okay, Fredo. Thank you for your input. You're mighty welcome. All right. What do you got, Garby? I do have money to spend now. Well, if it isn't my favorite pint-sized Lil Guardsman, Lil. You just missed the guards from down at the East Gate. Oh, you're getting business. They almost cleaned me out. But I promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Congratulations, Garby. Thanks. Take a look. We're gonna be friendly to you. You're all right. We could probably get more from that. Good guard tools. Let's go check out that jukebox. There he is. Poor thing. I bet you were the life of the party once. If it isn't my little gate guard friend, of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. There's a reason why I recommended you this, uh... Yeah, yeah. This tavern. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. This jukebox doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. It's been broken for ages. Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. Must have been the rats. Yuck. Rats? Not a classic beauty. Natural erosion. I mean, natural erosion. Natural erosion, my left foot. Anyway, I can fix that for you. That would be wonderful. For a price. Oh, great. Crap. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Fifteen gold should do it. Bam. All right, it's a deal. Beauty. See, that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. Never goes out of style. Not like those bloody mages. Oh, you're anti-mage, huh? How long is this going to take? Listen, lady. Patience is a virtue. That quick, huh? There you go. All right. That should give the old girl a few more years. Well, that's... Thanks, Mr. Dwarf. Heck yeah. Don't mention it. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Now that's better. Oh. Air V and V. Ah. All right, this is sweet. That, how'd you get here? I did it. I quit my job as lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. Uh, um, you're already free. 
just one sock, not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one sock? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. That's a good thing you put the big tree music on. Figure you. You made oh, it. I made it. You're, you're fine. You'll be okay. You're in a good place now. Thanks again for getting the jukebox working. Hey, no problem. Where's Dad? I don't really have anywhere to be. Alright. I just want to make sure that we save. I suppose this auto saves, but. Because, yeah, I think we're going to end off here for tonight. This is a ton of fun, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> seeing here.